really don't want anyone to tell a story like that about me. I think ultimately anyone who's gonna get it is gonna understand that because I think a big part of it is like you want to be able to spend enough time with each other. Is Harry Styles gay or are fans overreacting to all of the signs sprinkled in his music lyrics and dressing style? Harry Styles has finally decided to speak out about this. Today's video has everything we know so far about the career of this amazing actor and singer and of course what he had to say about fans calling him gay. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I've subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number 9. Harry Styles' Journey into the Music World The music sensation hit the limelight when he participated in a UK television show, The X Factor, in 2010. While on the show, the judges paired him up with a band of five males, which transformed into a group called One Direction. After leaving the show, the band remained as a compact unit, and throughout their time together, they released hit singles like Best Song Ever and Story of My Life. Before Harry Styles pursued a solo career, the band released five studio albums together. In a bid to pursue a solo career, Harry Styles released his first single titled Sign of the Time in 2017, and then his first studio album in May of 2017 since he left the singing group. Number 8. Life Away From One Direction For Harry Styles, life isn't over and music is not all that matters to his career. Teaming up with Niall Horan, Liam Payne, Lewis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik to form One Direction will forever remain the singer's and actor's rise to stardom. However, when the band split in 2016, the world was watching to see who would eventually shine more. For Harry Styles, his first move after the band went their separate ways was to pursue his solo career, which started when he signed with Columbia Records in 2016. Within the first 11 months of joining the music giant, Styles released his first album titled Harry Styles in 2017, after which he proceeded on a world tour and he released his first sophomore in December 2019 titled Fine Line. When Harry Styles is not making music, the next place you are likely to catch him is on a movie set. In 2017, Harry Styles made his first movie debut as an actor in a 2017 movie titled Dunkirk. He featured in other movies including Don't Worry Darling, which was directed by Olivia Wilde, and My Policeman, and also served as a guest host in a CBS-sponsored sitcom titled Happy Together before the program stopped. Over the years, he has appeared several times on Saturday Night Live and also guest hosted The Late Show with James Corden twice. But Harry Styles took it several steps further with a surprise cameo as the brother of the fearsome Earth enemy Thanos in a Marvel-produced movie, Eternal, in 2021. Back to music. As a solo artist, Harry Styles has successfully sold out different arenas in the world, including the Wembley Stadium with a capacity of 90,000 spectators. In 2021, his song Watermelon was nominated and won Harry the first Grammy Award of his career for Best Solo Pop Performance. Number 7. Harry Styles' Relationship Life Harry Styles has been in several love relationships over the years with different categories of ladies. He is the typical ladies' man and hardly gets through a year without reports of one relationship tussle or another. His first public relationship was when he was age 17. At the time, he was in a close relationship with former X Factor presenter Caroline Flack, who was 31 years old at the time. Of course, tongues wagged about the massive age difference between them as soon as it started, getting public attention. This quickly put an end to the relationship. Number 6. Dating Taylor Swift Next on the line, after Harry Styles' relationship with Caroline Flack ended was Taylor Swift. However, it was rumored at the time that before Taylor Swift came into the picture, Harry and British actress Emily Atak dated back in 2012. But in 2014, Emily Atak told Reveal Magazine, We were never boyfriend and girlfriend. We had a short-lived thing that was just a bit of fun. Then we went off in our opposite directions. 
And now, let's get back to Taylor Swift. Harry and Taylor started their relationship in 2012, but the duo did not last long together. By 2013, the relationship had ended. According to sources, the reason why Taylor and Harry parted ways was that she was a nag, most of the time accusing him of still having affairs with his ex-girlfriend Caroline Flack. Due to their irreconcilable differences, Harry and Taylor finally parted ways in 2013. Number 5. How Kendall Jenner Came Into the Picture Between 2013 and 2014, Harry dated Kim Kardashian's sister, Kendall Jenner, who at the time was a close pal of Harry's ex-girlfriend, Taylor Swift. As a result of Harry's relationship with Kendall, it was reported that Taylor and Kendall stopped being friends. Here's the thing. Taylor is a big fan of the girls' code, so she believed that Kendall dating her ex was the same as breaking the girls' code. Number 4. Relationship Timeline Between 2014 and 2019 Between 2014 and 2019, Harry Styles was involved in a relationship with Aaron Foster, Nadine Leopold, whom he dated between 2014 and 2015, BS model Sarah Sampaio in 2015, and the New Zealand model Georgia Fowler in 2015. In 2016, Harry and Kendall Jenner reunited again. The news of their reunion was released by another Kendall sister, Khloe Kardashian, to Entertainment Weekly. In 2017, after he and Kendall parted ways again, it was reported he had a short stint relationship with food blogger Tess Ward. The relationship ended abruptly after the chef broke up with Harry to reunite with her ex. The same year, Harry and Victoria's model Camille Rowe were reported to be having a thing for each other. They were spotted together, and according to a source, Harry introduced Camilla to his parent. But one year into the relationship, they parted ways. Number 3. Harry Hooking Up with Olivia Wilde In 2021, it was reported that Harry's latest love relationship is with Olivia Wilde, and according to a video circulating online, Olivia was spotted on one of Harry's tours in Los Angeles. The first time Harry and Olivia met was during a wedding that they both attended. Since then, they have been seeing each other frequently. Olivia, a mother of two, is the ex-wife of Jason Sudeikis. But the crazy thing here is that the Ted Lasso star said he still cannot fathom why they split. He further stated that he has moved on from the relationship, and as far as he is concerned, he was not heartbroken by his separation from the mother of his kids. Number 2. Harry's Response to Miley Cyrus's Comments After making headlines for wearing a Gucci dress in the Vogue December 2020 issues, the inquisitiveness about Styles' sexuality has been on the rise. In an interview with British GX as far back as 2013, Styles said he was a staunch supporter of the LGBTQ community, but certainly he is not a bisexual. During this time, the interviewer was merely asking Harry Styles to address the alleged sexual relationship between him and Nick Grimshaw, and Harry responded, just friends. In an attempt to probe more, the interviewer asked, so you're not bisexual? And Harry responded, bisexual? Me? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Again in 2017, during an interview with Bizarre Magazine, Harry said everyone should be left alone and be who they want to be. He said this in the response to the trending news on Miley Cyrus coming out saying he is pansexual. Number 1. Harry Styles Speaks on Being Gay The debate about whether Harry Styles is gay has continued to dominate the social media space among his fans and non-fans alike. A check through his fashion style, album cover, and music lines represents why there has been so much interest in his sexual status. The question, on the lips of many, is Harry Styles gay? Is Brit singer, actor, straight? While these questions have continued to dominate the entertainment media space, the best person to address this issue once and for all is Harry Styles himself. Everything about Harry Styles' sexuality is still speculations and mere opinion of the public. It was not until his interview on The Guardian that he decided to process everything most people have about him. He also used the opportunity of the interview to clarify whether he was gay or not. During the interview, 
Harry touched on the areas dealing with his dressing, especially his feminine clothing. For Harry Styles, his style of music, dressing, and lyrics may have some sexual tone, but as far as he is concerned, he is doing that because he feels it is cool. The shocking part was when the interviewer asked Harry what he felt about a fan's reaction to his Fine Line album, where some fans compared the album to the bisexual and transgender pride flag. But it appears Styles wouldn't take that. He said, am I sprinkling in nuggets of sexual ambiguity to try and be more interesting? No. He went further to say that he is just trying to project the artistic part of him because he feels it is cool and not because it makes him look bisexual, gay, or straight. He feels sexuality is cool and something that's fun. And as far as he is concerned, he is not giving his sexual orientation more thought than that. So, are you convinced or you think Harry Styles is hiding something? Well, let's hear from you guys. Do you really believe there's a high chance that Harry Styles hasn't been honest about his sexuality? You can let us know what you think in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy others that we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos. And hit that notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Check out this related video to see more. I'll see you on the next video.